Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to apply simple linear regression model to the given data set and to get the linear regression equation. First, we will try to see what is a simple linear regression model. In simple linear regression model, we have one uh, independent variable. Let us say that uh, the independent variable is x and we want to find the relationship between this independent variable uh, and the dependent variable. The linear regression equation looks uh, something like this. y is equal to a plus uh, bx, where x is a independent variable and y is a dependent variable. We have to find the values of a and b so that we will get the simple linear regression model in this case. Now the question is how to find the values of uh, a and b. So if you want to find the values of a and b, first we need to find the mean and covariance of the given data set. The mean and uh, covariance are calculated using the following formulas. First, we will try to find the means of x and y, where x is an independent variable and y is a dependent variable. So, mean of x, that is x bar is always equal to summation of uh, x divided by n, where n is the number of uh, instances or you can say that the data points. Similarly, uh, y cap or you can say y bar that is uh, the mean uh, of y is equal to summation of y divided by n in this case. Again, n is the number of data points in this case. So, these are the two equations used to find the mean of uh, x and y in this case. Now, uh, we need to find the variance uh, of uh, x. So, variance of x is always equal to 1 divided by n minus 1 summation of xi that is the data point minus mean that is the mean of x bracket square. So, once you solve this particular equation, we will get the variance of uh, x in this case. Once you find the variance of x, we have to find one more uh, uh, variable that is the covariance of x and y. What is the value of covariance between x and y in this case? So, covariance of uh, x comma y is always equal to 1 divided by n minus 1 summation of xi minus mean of x multiplied by yi minus mean of y in this case. So, once you find the mean of x and y, variance of x and the covariance of x and y, we can find the values of a and b using these formulas. That is, b is always equal to covariance of xy divided by variance of x and the value of y a is equal to mean of y minus b multiplied by mean of x. So, we have already calculated mean of x and y. We can put it over here. The value of b is calculated here. Using that particular thing, we will get the value of a here. So, this is the process we need to follow to find the value of a and b. Now, we will try to apply this process to the given data set to get the values of a and b in this case. Now, this is the data set given to us. So, what we do here is uh, uh, first we will try to find the mean of x. So, mean of x is always equal to addition of all these particular numbers divided by 5 that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 divided by 5 which is equal to 3. The mean of y is equal to addition of all these things divided by 5 which is equal to 2.06 in this case. Once you find the mean of x and y, we will try to find the covariance of x and y. The covariance between x and y is always equal to 1 divided by n minus 1 summation of xi minus mean of x multiplied by yi minus mean of y here. So, we will put those particular values that is uh, covariance between x and y is equal to 1 divided by 4 because n minus 1 we have to take here. This part that is xi minus uh, mean of x which is equal to 1 minus 3 because 1 is this one minus 3 that is a mean and then uh, uh, yi, yi is what again 1 the mean of y is 2.06 that is what the value here. Uh, we have to do the same thing for all these particular possibilities that is uh, 2 minus uh, 3 multiplied by 2 minus uh, 2.06 plus uh, next value is 3, 3 minus 3 multiplied by 1.3 min 1 minus uh, 2.06 and so on. The last one is shown here that is uh, 5 is the x value. The mean of x is 3 that is 5 minus uh, 3 multiplied by 2.25 is the value of y minus 2.06 is the mean of y. So, once you put all these values, you will get the covariance of x comma y is 1.0625 in this case. 
Similarly, we have to find the variance of x. That is, variance of x is always equal to 1 divided by n minus 1, summation of xi minus mean of x bracket square. Variance of x is equal to 1 divided by 4, multiplied by, again we have to put the value of xi minus mean of x. xi is nothing but what? It will be 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 in each and every iteration. The mean is already calculated in the previous uh, step. That is, uh, mean of x is equal to 3 here. So, 1 minus 3 bracket square plus 2 minus 3 bracket square plus 3 minus 3 bracket square plus 4 minus 3 bracket square. Finally, 5 minus 3 bracket square here. So, the value of a variance is equal to 2.5 over here. So, once you find the mean uh, variance and covariance, we can calculate the value of uh, A and B, something like this. B is equal to covariance of uh, x comma y divided by variance of x. A is equal to mean of y minus B into mean of x here. So, once I put those particular values, we will get B is equal to 0 0.425 and A is equal to 0 0.785 in this case. So, once you get the value of A and B, uh, the uh, regression model is already known to us, that is Y is equal to A plus BX. So, we will put those particular A and B to get the final regression model or the regression equation in this case, uh, which is equal to y, e y equals to 0.785 because the value of A is equal to 0 0.785 plus 0.425x because the value of B is equal to 0.425x in this case. Now, once you get this particular regression equation or a regression model, if you know the value of x, you need to put that value here, you will get the value of y here. So, if you know the value of x, we can predict the value of y using this particular equation. So, that is what uh, the simple linear regression model says here. So, in this video, I have discussed what is uh, simple linear regression model and how to find the regression equation uh, for the given data set. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and uh, share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.